This week I am going to reflect on um, an inset day that we um, had by speaker Paul McGee who is um, an international speaker, a best-selling author and performance coach. Um, Paul has written um, a book, um, Sumo, uh, which is um, Shut Up and Move On, as well as um, writing a book on, on self confidence. Um, my initial thoughts um, were pretty sceptical. Um, as I think motivational speakers go, um, I think I've kind of listened to quite a few, I've, I've been on um, quite a few inset days, I've had this kind of person in before. Um, I do enjoy listening um, and I think that what they have to say is, is valid, is, is relevant, is, is useful. Um, however, what I find difficult um, with motivational speakers is actually putting their theory into practice. Um, I, I think it's harder um, than they um, explain to us. Um, they make it sound so easy when actually it's, it's much harder um, in my experience. Um, to carry out what they're, they're actually um, suggesting or telling us that works. Um, Paul spoke with um, feeling and understanding about um, a personal situation um, that he found himself in um, quite early on in his career. Um, he could have remained down in the dumps and um, continue feeling sorry for himself. Um, however, he, he spoke to us about what inspired him um, to move on with his own life um, and what his whole speech was about um, was to inspire us to do the same. So the sumo um, is, is shut up and move on um, and it's easy to say that um, just, oh, just, just get on with it. Um, and I'm sure we're all kind of guilty of, of um, saying that to kind of um, various different areas of our, of our lives. However, Paul um, made, it, made it very real um, and he explained that you can't just say this to people or just get over it, just move on. Um, what he actually did, which I found extremely useful um, and made him different to other motivational speakers, was that he gave us strategies to allow ourselves time before we move on and he called this uh, the hippo time, our wallow time and depending obviously on the severity of what has happened to us and um, this could amount to maybe just even a couple of hours and um, to you know, a couple of weeks or, or maybe you know maybe even months um, if, if something can uh, something can really serious had, had happened to us um, and, and for me that moment was was like a, a penny dropping and I realised that we do, don't do that in schools, um, in the school that I work in, um, with, with our children. Um, we just expect them to get on with things um, and we expect them to, to act like adults. Um, and they're not adults, um, they're children that, that sometimes just cannot think rationally. It's hard enough asking an adult sometimes to, to think rationally and to ask um, you know, a troublesome teenager or um, a child that has been um, in, in trouble, that has had something happen to them that they feel really kind of misguided about. Um, unfair um, and we're just going to just get on with it just you're just going to have to move on you're just going to have to get on with it you know stop wallowing in it and stop um, and, and I think we're, we're not giving them enough time to do that before allowing them um, to move on and um, I'm going to quote you now from uh, Paul's book he says life is rarely just about what happens to you it is how you respond that makes the difference and I could see this being taught to our pupils, not just the SEM children, um, but all children um, can benefit from this, um, this coping strategy. Um, I'm going to just quote you again, Eric Burns says, you don't have to be ill to get better. And I think that's an amazing quote. It doesn't have to be broken for us to fix something or to make it better. Um, 
what I did was I wrote a PowerPoint presentation and I delivered it to my tutor group. I have a year 11 tutor group. Um, it, is, uh, it is a notoriously kind of difficult tutor group um, who um, have been, for want of a better word, uh, abandoned um, because their form tutor they had for, for three years um, uh, left last, last summer. So um, I've had to um, take over that tutor group with another member of staff. Um, and there are some, some um, troublesome boys in, in that tutor group um, who I thought that this particularly applied to um, this kind of blame culture you seem to live in uh, of I'll just constantly blame everybody else or um, it's just my, my luck and things um, bad things always happen to me and I really wanted to um, use Paul's sumo um, to make them understand or for, for hopefully for them to be able to, to see that they have choices, that they have um, a choice in the decisions about their own life and they can affect the outcome. Um, the first session um, they didn't totally engage with because they haven't done a lot of SEAL activities um, in, in that tutor, tutor group um, so just kind of sitting down and, and me talking to them and treating them like adults um, you know they're due to leave school in quite a short amount of, of time um, but by the second um, by the second activity um, they really started to engage um, and the, the conversations and debates that, that we were having I was posing questions to them um, they were they were answering and um, the questions were kind of working it out for themselves um, and they really did engage in in the activity and when I was talking to them and showing them the PowerPoint you know at one point you could have heard a, could have heard a pin drop um, and I saw this as a, a really kind of successful a successful seal activity and something that, that wasn't just a box ticking activity something that I hope they're going to take um, and use in their lives at the moment and in the future um, when they're out there they've left school and they're in the adult world um, and that they can use this um, this sumo um, as a tool as a strategy to help them um, with the rest of their lives